Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's having a great day out there. I am. I'm enjoying the rain. I'll tell you. Woohoo! <laughs> I love the rain. I'm telling you. Uh, gives me a chance to make a new video. And it is raining. I mean, look at this, folks. It is coming down. Camera's getting wet. I got to close the door. <laughs> It was raining so hard that the door, the, the floor was getting wet in front of the door. I like to keep the door open when it's raining because I love the smell of the rain and I love to watch the rain and I love the lightning and all of that. And we're having some great thunderstorms right now. It's a beautiful day. It's just a beautiful day. I don't know what else to say. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I don't want it to rain every day for the rest of my life, but we have not had any rain this summer. I think it's rained twice all year. And so right now, it's beautiful. I love the rain on occasion. Not every day. I don't like the rain every single day. But I do like it on occasion. And on a day like today, I love the rain. Okay, a couple of quick notes here. Um, people are asking me how to articulate properly with their dentures. Um, one of the key things that I've noticed that worked for me personally is... Um, when I first got my dentures, I tried to speak like I normally spoke when I had regular teeth. And that means I was opening my mouth way up when I talked. And, of course, I sounded like I was had a mouthful of crap. So one of the things I learned was to keep my mouth more closed when I speak. Because you can move your tongue much faster when your mouth is closed, uh, closer together. It doesn't push up on that bottom denture quite as, as much, so you don't have to worry about it flopping out on you when you're trying to articulate something. And um, it just makes it much more comfortable and makes it much easier to pronounce your words, uh, especially the S's and the T's and the the's and the, and the shoes and the, you know, the SH's and the TH's and the S's and things of that nature. Um, it's a learning process. You're going to have to learn. Uh, but it works for me. Um, keeping my mouth a little more closed when I speak uh, really helps me to articulate and speak as fast as I like to speak because I like to speak fast. When I first got my dentures, I had to speak very slowly. I had to concentrate on every word. So I would speak like this because it was difficult to learn to speak with the dentures. Now, I can speak as fast as I want, I can articulate my words perfectly, and I don't have to worry about it because my S sounds are great, but it took a little practice and a little time and a little effort, and everything is working out beautifully. So try it, see what you think, let me know in the comments if that's working for you or not. Also, let's see, what else was there? Um, oh yes, the uh, Densure Fit Contest is over. Um, Go to the link in the description and vote for your favorite video. Share it on your social media so you can get more votes for it. Help that person win. The winner will be announced on October the 6th. Voting will end on October the 4th. Again, voting will end on October 4, and the winner will be announced on Friday, October the 6th. And I wish everybody luck. I hope everybody... Um, just hangs in there you know you can share your own video on your social media too and try to get more votes that way too so if you look at it and you don't see um that you have as many votes as you want share it on your youtube share it on your on your facebook share it on your twitter share it on your google share it share it share it try to get as many votes as you can i mean it's a contest and it's up to you to get the votes so uh if you look at your video and you don't see enough votes on there share it with people and get your friends and family and everybody else to vote for you. That's kind of the point to win. You know, you have to put the effort forth to win. Kind of like dentures. You have to put the effort forth in order to win. Um, you're not just going to throw dentures in your mouth and be used to them overnight. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take practice. And you're going to have to be determined to win. And you're going to have to be determined that those dentures are going to be part of your mouth and that you're going to live with those dentures and you're going to rule those dentures. Now, that being said, let me see if I can get my cat to move because, yes, yeah, she learned that when I go to sit down, 
she needs to get out of my way. She loves sitting in my spot, and it's and and I'm like, I'm like Sheldon from uh, from that show. What's that show? Um, Big Bang Theory. I'm like Sheldon. You know, I'll stand there and say, "You're in my spot. You're in my spot. You're in my spot." <laughs> um, so now I just act like I'm going to sit on her, and she gets out of the way. I am getting ready to eat some some of these. Uh, I love these. Uh, Chili cheese Fritos and um, cottage cheese. And I'm getting ready to eat some next day chicken wings. I don't like calling them leftovers. I call them next day chicken wings. So these have been in the refrigerator, so they're kind of cold. But I love my next day chicken wings. Yeah, absolutely delicious. I love them. And... Because I've had difficulty eating cold chicken before, um, a couple of times, but because I'm using the denture fit in my dentures, and I have amazing suction on the top and the bottom, I can rip into you know cold chicken. With no issue whatsoever. Cold chicken, I did a video about it, a lot harder to eat than hot chicken. Good stuff. Click the link in the description. Vote for your favorite video. Help somebody be the grand prize winner. And uh, speak with your mouth a little more closed if you're still trying to learn how to articulate your words properly. And I'm guessing that's about it for now. Um, I'm gonna tear this up, I'm telling you. How many of you can do that with one hand? That's pretty good, huh? Mmm. I love me some cold chicken. I love me some hot wings. Hmm. You ever notice things taste different at different temperatures? I'm not sure of the scientific reasoning behind that. But, like chicken, A lot of times, sorry I'm being a pig here, but I really enjoy my chicken. And I've said this many, many, many times before. I've told people many times that if you're going to do an eating video, you need to prove that you're not gluing in. That's that denture fit holding that denture in. Amazing stuff. Anyway. When you can rip through cold chicken like that and not have to push against your dentures to get them to stay in place, that's when you know your dentures fit perfect. So, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I'm going to eat my lunch, and I might just make another video this afternoon because it's going to rain all day. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can touch on a few things that people have been asking about. I guess we'll have to see. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up.